2017 Bowl of the Year, Darren Ian Stevens, 63 wickets in first class cricket. What a season, Darren. Seven, seven or eight, five wicket hauls, I've lost count. Uh, seven, seven, seven. Magnificent seven. seven. What, why do you think this has been your best ever year in short? Um, I've probably kept it, like last year I didn't have a great year. I was sort of a backup bowler last year, that I should be anyway, but um, I reckon this year I, I did the same thing, but um, I probably bowled a few more overs. Um, had a little bit more luck, but um, I, I kept the process exactly the same as what I've done the last few years. Um, preparation's probably been a, a little bit different this year, where we've had um, nudged down um, our analyst has been a bit more, um, sent us a lot more videos through on specific batters, and um, yeah, so I've, I've probably you know looked at those and worked work batters out and try to stick with the plan and gone with it. And all in all, your best season ever, you would say, with the ball. Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, I got 60. Odd. I don't know how many wickets I got total, but um, disappointingly, I, did, I didn't do that well in one-day cricket and um, you know white ball cricket. Really, I didn't bowl that much. Um, it's a bit frustrating, and you know I'm sure I'll, I'll go back to the drawing board because I love white ball cricket and um, with a bat and the ball. So I'll um, you know I'll be chatting to the coaches about how I can improve that and um, hopefully be um, more of an asset next year. And it's not been a, a total damp squib with the bat either. If you look at the, you've got a club record there in the One Day Cup, that 147 yeah. down in Wales. And talk to us about that innings. That was a <laughs> bit of a special knock, Matt. It, yeah, it was a bit freaky actually. It was a, um, just one of those things, I suppose. Um, you know, everybody talked about getting in the zone, and I suppose I was in the zone. Um, uh, there was a lot of chat at the start of the game about a short boundary, and um, you know they dominated that short boundary. But actually, I. The, the wind was going the opposite way, and I ended up using. I uh, got going against the spinner, and you know, I, I didn't really look back. <laughs> I just kept saying to the batters coming in, I said, "Look, just give me the strike, and um, you know, we'll go from there." But um, look, the, the thing is with that, yeah, it was a, a personally, it was my high score, and um, but getting so close to that score was really frustrating. And we didn't win the game. Yeah. Um, you know, we only need, I think, we needed 20 odd runs off, 15 runs off four overs, and we didn't get it. Um, so it was a bit disappointing. Um, I wish I'd have got us over the line, I didn't, but um, yeah, look, it, was, it was a great knock. Um, probably one of my best one day. And looking ahead, feet up for a week or two, maybe a holiday or two. What, looking ahead then to 2018, are we going to see another another season from, from yourself? Yeah, um, you know, it's a chat I've had with a lot of old players. Um, you know, my question to them is like, why, when? Did you know when to retire and all that sort of stuff? And it was like, well, yeah, we did, but we wanted to and we didn't. And you just sort of know. And at the minute, I don't know. I'm really enjoying it. And um, I feel like if I'm, I'm not doing my job, so if I'm not getting my runs, not getting my wickets, then it'll be time to retire. But, you know, I'm still up for the challenge. Um, you know, these youngsters coming into the side and doing well are actually giving me a bit more of an edge to carry on and compete with them. So, um, you know, as long as I've still got that fight in me, I'll, I'll play for as long as I can, be it, you know, next year, year, whatever it may be. Um, but I'm still loving playing for Kent. It's Darren Stevens, 2017 Bowl of the Year. Congratulations.